How's it going, everybody? So I'm out here up in the mountains, about 50, 60 miles away from the nearest town, just kind of testing some gear and whatnot. So the orange beanie, it's hunting season here. So definitely want to be visible out here at this time, especially it's getting just a little bit dark. But in the main premise for this video is pace method. So it's normally a military terminology. So pace, so primary, alternate, contingency and emergency then these are all plans how to set up pretty much anything the military use them as backup plans but you can adopt this pretty much in any means to have backups of something and we're going to be going over how i incorporated into kind of a get home bag kind of scenario bug out bag scenario how i have set things up so Initially for get home bag, let's just say we have a small localized incident and it's just affecting myself. Say I, my vehicle broke down and I need to get back. So there's not too many people around. Literally, I'm 50 miles away from the nearest town. So it becomes a get home situation or just get to safety kind of situation. So this is my full setup is what I would don or get on and get ready to go. Thought I heard something over there. Anyways. So the get home bag, this is what I'm wearing, but that's my primary. So the primary means is, hey, I'm going to get on with this bag, this gear and continue forth to my destination. Now, it's always good if you've heard it not to have all your eggs in one basket. So that's what pace is. So for some reason, if I would lose my primary, which would be specifically the bag, if I would have to ditch this for a specific reason, you know, have to throw it off. Now all my life-saving equipment for me to keep me alive is in this bag, but not all of it. That's why we have a pace method. So there's different reasons why you might want to have to or need to ditch your pack, right? So say you're up against an opposition or something and you need to move very quickly away from that general area. You may have to ditch the heavy pack to get you know, quicker speed to get out of there. Now you could hide this, you could like cache it somewhere, put some snow, some leaves, whatever around you, maybe out of sight, maybe mark it on your GPS. Hey, I'm going to come back for this. But in the meantime, what do you have on you? You don't want all your stuff in this bag and then you be lost hundred percent. You're done. And that's what this whole is. This whole scenario kind of is. So alternate, what is your alternate? So specifically mine is my Hill People Gear uh, Recon Chest Rig. So this is the heavy version. If you wanna see also, if you wanna see everything in my get home bag, I'll throw that in the description below along with everything in this. I'm gonna kind of briefly go over this and show you some of the items in here, but not go into super hardcore detail. If you want the detail, I'll throw it in the description below. Definitely take a look at what I'm packing all 100% in here. So ditch the bag and we're moving very quickly or say we lose the bag or we get it taken from us or, you know, some kind of crazy scenario. It's no longer with us. So in the back portion of this, because there's two, is my primary defensive tool. So this is a Glock 29. This is what I carry on me. Very easy to conceal carry with this and backpack straps, you know, go here and then around your belt. Up on the chest is very easy. So I have a primary means of defense on my person at all times, even if I lose the pack. Now the pack does have a few other things. I apologize, it's probably loud with the mic with the zippers. And then in the next portion, or the next front facing, this will flip down. I'll definitely get some shots and some photos inside so you can see kind of up close what's going on. But I have GPS and a satellite communicator along with extra ammunition. I have some food in here, a compass, and then also I have a small survival kit. So something that I've packed personally full of items that I know that will work and I have used before that can get me through, you know, creating fire, getting water, you know, hunting, other things like that, keeping warm, water purification, stuff like that. Also, there's flashlight, a knife, some navigation, other equipment, some paper, pen, pencils, stuff like that that can aid me in still navigating. 
my maps are in here as well. So that's kind of a small, let me zip it up, containment system. That's a snapshot of this bag that this can keep me going. So for some reason, if I would lose this, which was my alternate, you have your contingency. So my contingency is my everyday carry stuff of what I actually have on me every single day, regardless if I'm in the city or going to get groceries or whatnot, I carry basic EDC tools. I'm gonna to show some of them. I have a detailed video. I'll throw that in the description below. But mainly I have a knife, a multi-tool, a writing utensil, and a lighter is normally what I have. I'll also cell phone, car keys. I do carry a trauma kit on the side, always have literally some of you were like, oh my gosh, you carry so much stuff, but literally I've been carrying this stuff for a very long time, several years, you can go back in my archive. So trauma kit on this side and a tourniquet on this side, because I normally conceal carry for, you know, on my on-duty job and my off-duty job, I have a firearm on me. So if you have a way to, you know, put holes in people, you should have a way to plug holes in people as well. So kind of off on a tangent, but that's my contingency is my everyday carry. Next is that emergency. So we're in to the emergency aspect. For some reason, if I would lose the pack, lose this, lose the EDC, what's my last like emergency, like go-to thing? And that is a specific product that I've been running for quite a bit, and it's actually a belt. So let's get this off really quick. And this is made by Wazoo. So I'll definitely bring some close-up shots and show you specifically um, what this is. There's already a video out of showing all the details inside of this, but this kind of gives you a good idea. This is a cash belt. So you can actually place things inside this belt and it's very thin and very easy to conceal. So this is my last means. So I have, you know, fire starting material in here, like multiple different ways to do it. Um, water purification method, cash, some gold, silver, you know, handcuff keys, stuff like that. Um, a small saw, there's a water container, there's a lot of stuff in here that can fit in a small package. And that's the emergency kind of aspect of pace. So that is mine. So that is my primary alternate contingency and emergency based plans. Now you can don't you don't have to copy these exactly, you can use all this method in all different types of your life. Like, so you have kids or something, your primary, you know, bag for your children are set up, you know, maybe diapers, bottles, stuff like that. But what's your backup? Like what happens if for some reason you lose or maybe you run out of diapers? Do you have a stash of diapers? I'm just kind of playing more of the parent because I became a parent recently and kind of interesting, but I use this method in a lot of things, especially my military based job. I use pace a lot of the times while I'm doing things and that's where I learned it. So I kind of tailored it into every day what I've been doing. So I tailored pace to this specific method. You guys can use this in different ways as well. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. A little bit different too. Audio, I'm trying something new out. I'm trying to get better quality uh, information and better quality videos and audio out there for all of y'all to enjoy. So if you like this kind of content, definitely hit the like, hit the subscribe. We got a lot more stuff coming out. Actually, probably since the sun's going down, I'm gonna be filming probably the next part of the night vision section that I've been doing to kind of show you night vision aspects. So definitely uh, subscribe, you'll see that coming up. You can definitely take a look at it prior my first video on it. But I hope y'all have a great day. All right.